Now I'm 27 years of age, full-time carpenter. That was Rayshard Brooks in February this year, just months before he was shot and killed by an Atlanta police officer. Some of the system could, you know, look at us as individuals. We do have lives, you know, we're, it's just a mistake we made. That was a dad, you know, he made a mistake, he admitted he made a mistake, he was doing everything that he could to try to get back on his feet. I feel like sh it should be a way for you to have some kind of person, like a mentor assigned to you to, you know, keep your track, keep you in the direction you need to be going. Probation is not there with you every day, like a mentor or something. They're not taking you out to find a job. You have to do these things on your own. He wants to do good. To see him talk about that, knowing that just within a few months, he is going to be shot and kicked and treated like an animal. Not just do us as if we are animals. I think is, is all you need to know about what's going on in America right now. But this is not just a policing story. This is a story about probation as well. And our probation system is so punitive that anybody with any contact with a police officer at all is gonna go back to prison. We have this unbelievable irony colliding on that parking lot right there where you have police with too much power and too little oversight and then people coming home from prison with too little opportunity and too much oversight so that literally any mistake that they make they go right back into the system. So hard for them to get a job as he talks about so hard for him to just get on his feet and he's trying and through the course of the interview you hear i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying you know i'm not the type of person to give up i'm gonna keep going until i make it to where i want to be <laughs>